Hey guys, today is January the 19th of 2022, and I want to go over Cameco, CCJ, using WGAN price and time, technical analysis. Uh, the title of the video and the uh, cover says it all. The bears are in control of the daily chart. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get into the technical and let's see what the charts are telling us. Looking at the monthly technical analysis summary, you can see that it's a strong buy. Uh, in regards to the moving averages and the oscillator is kind of neutral. So summary is more on the buy. Uh, when you go into the weekly, uh, the moving averages are more on the neutral side. And the oscillator is uh, a little negative. So in summary, it's a little more on the neutral. When you go to the daily, the bears are in control. Strong sell. Oscillators are negative. Summary, sell. The bears got the daily chart in their grip. Hey guys, so here we have the cycles of uh, CCJ. And the first one I wanted to show you is the dominant cycle. The dominant cycle tops out somewhere around the 22nd, and then it goes into a downward spiral into February the 18th. As you can see, it's already turning ahead of that top cycle. The dominant cycle is 54, and the next one is that's prominent is the 174. The 174 topped out some, somewhere around November 19. We made a high on the 8th, and could this be an ABC correction? We'll see. It bottoms out somewhere around March. So if you merge these two together, you get a composite. And this is the price section has actually been playing out. And now you're going to have a possible drop or sell off somewhere into the last week of February, maybe the first, second week of March, where it might bottom out. So this is all probability, but this is just the uh, cycle analysis on the uh, Cameco. And so far, this is bearish. Okay, here's our Elliott Wave chart. As you can see, we did a A, B, C. And then an A, B, C. And now we crack the uh, trend channel. Another way to count it is maybe this is an A, oops, an A, B, and C could be coming down into the 100% extension, 1808. Hit this trend line, possibly line up with this uh, line here, or push even lower to the 1.618 from this uh, extension. So this is a target right here, 1284, this trend line, this 100% extension, and then these are dates you want to watch. Uh, one uh, January the 27th and uh, February the 9th. And this is also support right here. This is a possible target, and it could probably hold here. Or maybe just go sideways and maybe continue going lower or bounce, uh, or bounce from here. So this is probably going to be an area to watch. And also the uh, 2131, which is a 0.618 uh, Fibonacci level. As you can see, the Stokes are selling off. So the Bears got the bulls right here in that trap. If you look at my videos in the past, I was saying that, and I've been pounding the table on this, that this is going to be a possible top right now, and that we were going to go into a retracement into a 2022, uh, or a correction, as I call it, and then resume the trend higher. So... A lot of my subscribers and a lot of option traders I know took advantage of this uh, volatility and they uh, made out really well, uh, especially with this bear trap that they got bought there. But like I said, these are the targets you want to keep on your radar. As you can see, using our geome geometry chart, we fail this uh, pitchfork angle. Uh, like I said, the most important ones are the first impulse wave of the move. I got your A, B, C. You can see that it's already closed below it. So that's uh, not good, but you know, this could probably play out. There's going to be some support coming over here. So we'll see how uh, that's going to look. Action reactions lines, you can see that we failed this area right here, this line. 
Uh, the next one will be this one right here. Uh, then it's pretty much a big gap. I need to adjust this now uh, for this move right here and add the uh, action reaction line there. So I could kind of see what's what possible support and resistance into the uh, future. This is an interesting chart. Uh, this one's pretty much been the one that's been nailing the forecast. Like I said, the bears got you. The bears got the bulls there on the trap. The GAN swings are negative, so I wouldn't be buying until this thing resolves. This uh, mirror cycle has been pushing lower, and it bottoms out somewhere, I don't know, uh, the 27th. So I, I guess I gave you that date earlier. Keep an eye on that. This one looks like it probably wants to uh, bounce here, but I don't know if that's going to play out, that red one. The Dewey cycles are negative uh, into the 25th. So like that last week of January is going to be interesting with the uh, yellow and the uh, white, which is a Dewey cycle and the yellow is the mirror. This one is kind of going in reverse of what the two uh, cycles are forecasting. This is the uh, Fib grid chart I use and uh, target you want to watch is that 2102. Obviously this low right here. Uh, 2002 and if it pushes lower uh, 1936 right here and if that can't hold the uh, 61.8 which will be that 1667 look at the squeeze play chart you can see that the pressure is building lower this is a monthly weekly and daily the bigger time frame you can see that we've been chopping we had a ninth uh, sequential tom d mark uh, sell signal and looks like it's playing out or you see the selling pressure. Bulls want to go up, and uh, the bears just keep pouncing. And you got the 20 right here, 1623, and the 50. Right now, we failed the uh, 20. Looks like we're going to uh, retest that 2002 and test that 50. And on the uh, daily, you can see that we might retest the 200 SMA, which is at 2084. And if that can't hold, uh, 2002. You can see that there's a squeeze play. Uh, squeeze play playing on the daily you can see it on the weekly this week and last week and you can see the momentum is getting weaker on the monthly and uh and monthly waves uh this is the question are we going to go up into a march or we're going to go down into march that remains to be seen and lastly the master chart uh where do i start let's start with the seasonalities so you see this line right here this is the 10-year uh, price action. This is the only thing that I saw positive going into February the 21st. Seasonalities are topping out here. This is the decimal, and this is uh, the uh, annual. Annual topped out here. On the monthly bar, you can see that we are negative. We closed below 2260, and... Uh, 2182, which was the last close of uh, December. We go into the weekly. You can see that this is the most positive. Last week was negative, and uh, we're still in this week. Uh, spectrum analysis. This red line right here bottoms out here, and this is a separate algorithm from the uh, cycle I showed you earlier. Uh, and these are different fluctuations of different cycle points, but there's a lot of Things lining up for March. Again, monthly waves. And uh, we do uh, cycle analysis. You see that it bottoms out here. Let's close this. Solar cycle. Solar cycle just topped out here. Kind of lines up with this top, although this was the real top. Uh, so it's going to be pushing lower all the way to April. But we'll see how that plays out. And I think that's it. There's a turbo cycle here. And this is kind of in sync also, kind of like in sync with the uh, price. And it bottoms out somewhere in March. So I have that on my radar. Uh, I think that's it. I don't want to make this video too long. These are levels also you want to watch. So in key essence, uh, A, B, uh, we're going to do the C. Uh, the uh, bulls, uh, the bears going to push us all the way down here. Uh, that remains to be seen, but be on alert. Keep your eye on that 200 right there and this uh, 2002. If that holds and then it starts trending higher, that could be a failed new low. 
and then maybe it could follow the uh, 10 year cycle. But uh, all of this going to be uh, speculative until we close this week and see how it goes. Hopefully you like this video. I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on chemical using double D pricing time technical analysis.